in the quietness of this place at the end of another day we have the opportunity to take time just to reflect on God's presence with us in this past day and to ask for his protection and his guidance to us and to all leaders within our country for the day ahead. Each evening at half past eight we're going to uh, read from the late evening office which you can find on page 162 of your prayer books. You can also look it up on the Church of Anne website. Uh, under the worship section you'll find the text there. And the other way you can do it is by using uh, your phone and downloading an app called Daily Worship which is the Church of Ireland uh, worship site uh, and to use it. And so let's begin. Blessed be our God for all time, now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory be to you, Holy Spirit, Comforter, treasure of all goodness and giver of life. Come and dwell in us. Cleanse us from all sin. And in your love bring us to salvation. Holy God, holy and strong holy and immortal, have mercy on us. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 25. Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let my, not my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame, but let the treacherous be shamed and frustrated. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you have I hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth, or my transgressions, but think on me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Gracious and upright is the Lord, therefore shall he teach sinners in the way. He will guide the humble in doing right and teach his ways to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who keep his command and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, for it is great. Who are those who fear the Lord? Them will he teach in the way that they should choose. Their souls shall dwell at ease, and their offspring shall inherit the land. The hidden purpose of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and brought very low. The sorrows of my heart have increased. O oh, bring me out of my distress. Look upon my adversity and misery and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many, and they bear a violent hatred against me. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me, let me not be put to shame, for I have put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever. Amen. Our reading tonight is taken uh, from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, beginning at the first verse. Meanwhile, Saul was breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciples. He went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, so that if he found any there who belonged to the way, whether men or women, he might take them to prisoners uh, as prisoners to Jerusalem. 
As he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? asked Saul. I am Jesus whom you are persecuting, he replied. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. The men traveling with Saul stood there speechless. They heard the sound but did not see anyone. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand into Damascus. For three days he was blind and did not eat or drink anything. In Damascus, there was a disciple named Ananias. The Lord called to him in a vision, Ananias. Yes, Lord, he answered. The Lord told him, go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul, for he is praying. In a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hands on him to restore his sight. Lord, Ananias answered, I have heard many reports about this man and all the harm he has done in your saint, uh, to your saints in Jerusalem. And he has come here with authority from the chief priests to arrest all who call on your name. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to carry my name before the Gentiles and their kings and before the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Then Ananias went to the house and entered it. Placing his hands on Saul, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again. He got up and was baptized. And after taking some food, he regained his strength. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory to your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And so let us pray. Let us pray to the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people, that they may live in love and truth. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the church and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for peace throughout the world and for all governments. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for our neighbours and for all our friends. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for those who hate us as we pray for those who love us. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for refugees and prisoners and for all who are exposed to the dangers of travel. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all sick people, for the sorrowful and the dying. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and hungry may receive a just share. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who have entered into eternal rest. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Let us continue now just in a time of short prayer. Father God, we pray in particular for this night for the many families who are worried many families in our community that are hearing news of illness. We pray that you will surround them with your peace, a peace that we cannot fully comprehend, 
and yet a peace that all of us need at this time. Would you give wisdom to all of our doctors, our nurses, and all in the medical uh, profession at this time as they fight the challenges of uh, the coronavirus? Lord, give them wisdom uh, and give them the ability to come up uh, with the medication that will uh, so, uh, we so desperately need at this time. And Lord, for our community and for the opportunities that there are uh, to show love to those in need, we pray in particular for those people who are housebound, those people who have underlying illnesses. Lord, for the many people who are lonely. Lord, for the strain on parents as they try to balance having the children at home uh, alongside uh, their, their work. We pray for the many that at this time, due to the pressures that are placed on our country, have uh, become unemployed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The collect which is very appropriate, the collect from last Sunday, the collect for the fourth Sunday in Lent. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Saviour, gave his back to the smiters and did not hide his face from shame, give us grace to endure the sufferings of this present time with sure confidence in the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we finish, let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And the common collect, Lord Almighty, come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence, that we may know you, the light of the world, and the one true God, blessed this night and forevermore. Amen. And so let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.